flying low over Savo National Park. A census is underway to count the elephant population here. Keeping an accurate tally is a challenge. The pilots and spotters carry out dummy runs ahead of the proper count. We're trying to record an awful lot of information, um, plus looking for the wildlife. So you're taking GPS waypoints on, on everything. You're also um, having to estimate the numbers, photograph if it's large herds of elephant, try and photograph them with a camera. Metal rods, known as streamers, are secured to the wings of each plane to minimise double counting. Streamers are basically your guideline. So you're counting um, a 500 metre side, 500 metres um, out this side and 500 metres out this side at 300 feet. The last elephant census here in Savo was in 2011. That showed a population of just over 12,500, a 7% increase on a 2008 count. Organisers are hoping for a further increase, bucking the continental trend. Kenya Wildlife Service has invested a lot in terms of uh, security, uh, adding, uh, having rangers uh, deployed strategically in different areas, and uh, activities such as this, what we are carrying out today, that is able to identify some of the critical where the elephants are distributed, has been able to assist us to be able to mitigate uh, the effects of poaching. But the apparent stabilisation of the elephant population here in Kenya isn't mirrored elsewhere. According to Save the Elephants, numbers in Tanzania's Ruhaha National Park have plunged by nearly half to barely 20,000 over the last seven years.